Fans of movies love to see alternate or longer versions of their favorite movies. There are basically two different types of extended cuts for the most part. A director's cut and a special edition. What is the difference between a director's cut and a special edition? James Cameron has never released a director's cut. Terminator 2 and Avatar and Aliens got special editions instead. I remember reading the back of a Laserdisc, an album-sized video disc in 1991 of James Cameron's special edition of The Abyss, and shortly after, a Laserdisc of Aliens special edition, where James Cameron clearly wrote that these are not director's cuts. Home video affords him the opportunity to add back in scenes, and for James Cameron, whole subplots back into the film and they can be seen as alternate versions and thus special editions is the apt title for these versions. Usually a director's cut implies that the studio or the producers made editorial decisions against the wishes of the director. In the case of James Cameron, he was fired from his first film, Piranha 2 The Spawning, and he did not have final cut. He vowed and has upheld that he would contractually have final cut on every movie he directs. After the debacle of what happened to Ridley Scott on Alien and Blade Runner, you would think he would have similarly made sure he had that in his contract. But even as recent as 2005, he still has to release a director's cut of Kingdom of Heaven because the theatrical version was not what he intended. Although Ridley Scott has also released extended editions of Black Hawk Down and Gladiator. Those are not considered director's cut because in his DGA, Director's Guild contract, he had final cut on those films. Peter Jackson is a fan of special editions, but he doesn't like to release them first. During the Lord of the Rings and the huge success of the special editions, note, not director's cuts, of Lord of the Rings, when asked why he didn't release the extended cuts of those films, he said, the only reason people say that is because they have something to compare them to. The initial theatrical releases were very popular. With King Kong, one of the main criticisms, including my own, is that the theatrical cut, which is technically a director's cut, was too long and self-indulgent. He even then released a longer special edition of King Kong. So the basic difference, whether or not the director got final cut in their contract for the movie.